Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading for your zodiac sign Taurus. Uh, but when it comes to any of my tarot readings, please be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. Just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, my beautiful Taurus. And if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Taurus, I would love it if you were to give me a like and subscribe. Uh, to support my tarot reading channel because I always appreciate it when you take that extra step to do that and it really does help me out and also let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do towards because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments right so I just also want to say, Taurus, I did your ancestor reading as well as your spirit guide reading, uh, messages from both of them through tarot, the tarot cards, um, and I'll leave links to both of them over there for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. Uh, but just remember, Taurus, uh, this is your life to live, right? It's not my life to live. It's not these tarot cards' life to live. It's not, um, I, I personally believe that tarot cards should be here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your life, as you go throughout your week, days, whatever, but we should not be making a decision in your life because it's your life to live. Uh, how many times can I say that, right, Taurus? So let's just start getting into your general tarot reading for this week, my beautiful Taurus, your weekly general tarot reading. We'll start out with your moon oracle cards because these actually uh, came, went flying out uh, for you, Taurus. So we'll start with these. We have the void of course moon coming in for you. So and you, this card, it says nothing will come of this situation. This is, I feel like I can't, like I only usually intend to pull like one oracle card Taurus, so when a couple come out, um, I'm leaning more so, more so, this is like a side message where it's like, um, these card, this card came in specific for only a select few Tauruses who came into this reading trying to figure out if they want to put, uh, further energy into a situation or not. Just, they're not sure if some type of situation is worth, um, uh, going down this path more. Um, I'm getting, I don't feel like it's more so like a, like a work situation or anything like that. Taurus, I am going to be honest here, I do get a sense that it is about some type of social dynamic. Um, but let's actually see through some, let's pull a card on this actually, just so I can get a clear, clarification. Okay, two cards came out already. Just so we can get a better idea, Taurus, of what this, like why this message, came, extra message came forward for y'all. So we have the Three of Earth, which is the Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Fire, or Wands. So we'll talk about the Three of Earth. Three of Earth is the power of creativity. This is like the collaborative card. I guess I don't need to read it. This is like a collaborative card, and since I was saying I wasn't sure if this was a social situation, um, confirms to me that it is. It does involve other party members. So I would say more so this is leaning towards like a message for my Tauruses that are trying to figure out if they want to continue feeding energy into a situation with a person. Doesn't have to be romantic, it could be, you know, could be business, right? It could be work-related, right? The pentacles usually is a collaborative energy involving the workplace. Uh, six of wands coming in here, the six of fire, Taurus, this is that victory card. This is a card where it's almost like this message is trying to, Taurus, have you think more about yourself. You know, I keep on hearing this is about you now. Taurus, rather than you trying to make it work, trying to, yeah, it's almost like for my Tauruses that have been trying so hard to, um, don't mind me, I'm adjusting the light, for my Tauruses that have been trying to just make it work with some type of person, it's just your uh, spirit is really trying to tell you, Taurus, to just like wash your hands clean of it. You would, uh, you probably already have ideas of washing hands clean of it, and maybe you even came to this reading to see if it brought clarity forward, and Spirit definitely wanted to address this right off the bat, Taurus, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, it does seem to be like, you know, for my Tauruses that are on the fence, um, being unsure about like if they can, you know, I guess... <sighs> I hear a codependency as well, Taurus. So maybe for some of you Tauruses that like you want to break free from a situation or move from some type of social situation, but maybe you're afraid that another opportunity with another person won't come along. Maybe if it is in regards to a relationship or perhaps um, you're afraid that if you leave like a certain friend group, perhaps Taurus, that you're afraid that you wouldn't be able to find people um, to replace them with, right? And I do feel like there's just this sense of like, make some space Taurus. make some space let go of situations that are trying to if they're trying to leave Taurus. allow them to leave right don't try to fight for them to stay 
So let's now just get into this actual spread here. Uh, we have the balsamic moon, a time for healing. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is, mm, yeah. Actually, now that I'm looking at these cards, <laughs> I actually haven't taken a look at the, I look, I have the cards set out, Joris, but I haven't looked at them until right now. Time for healing. This may just be like an all encompassing message. Um, because it seems to be for you, some of you Tauruses, there's a need for you to, um, there's like this push for the self here. Um, because we have the Queen of Cups as like the centerfold energy of this mini spread that we have going on here towards. So with the Queen of Cups, this is like this uh, tending to your own emotions. You know, you, this is almost like a, <sighs> removing yourself from situations or just like, yeah, removing yourself from situations that aren't filling up your cups, that are even like taking away your cups. And there just does seem to be this sense of just like breaking free um, with this Fool card going into the sun card as well Taurus. so let me break this down what i mean by this is like um with these cards Taurus, it's telling me it's painting a um storyline of an individual who <sighs> i'm like seeing a Taurus just like kind of like things that they were anxious about like things that the Taurus was anxious about before about working out or Taurus was just feeding a bunch of energy into a lot of other situations that um, weren't actually fulfilling them, but maybe helping other people, right? And so now it does seem to be, and I can't help but feel like this is a similar message to one of your other readings from before, Taurus, of where it's just like this, I'm seeing like a Taurus in their head and needing to this week really start taking active steps towards their happiness, right? Because I feel like, I can't help but feel like Taurus, for some of you guys, you already are getting like the sense of, um, unsatisfactory there's another word for it that's a lot more proper but you're not feeling satisfied in your current situation um i am just getting this sense of where taurus um uh, maybe you thought if you were like let's just paint a scenario taurus where it's just like you wanted to do business with um a friend right or you wanted to like move out um, you just more so it's like, I'm getting like the sense that you had a plan with a person and you wanted to really include this person in your plans, regardless if it's work, the relationship, what have you, like you really wanted to go the big picture, the, the, uh, uh, go the mile with this person. Right. And so because of that, you were almost Taurus, like functioning off of like as a team, right. Naturally with that for your pentacles. And it makes sense because it's just like, this is like an energy of where it's just like, oh no, we're in this together sort of thing. Right. And it seems to be like a situation of where <sighs> spirit's trying to give you this wake up call of being like, hey, like, you know, you, you think you're feeding energy into the situation with a person or it could just be a situation, right? Um, that you think is going to take you where you need to go. But in actuality, it's not of your best service. It's like, it's almost like you've been trying to play by the rules for a long time now, Taurus. And now it's just the point where you're realizing that it's like, even though I hate the saying because I don't believe in it when it comes to like relationships and stuff like that. But you know the saying, nice guys finish last. It's kind of that energy, Taurus, where it's just like, you're kind of realizing where spirits trying to like give you a wake up call, Taurus, and be like, hey, like, you're being extremely nice here. You're being extremely giving in this situation and it's not giving you the payout. So it's like, you need to be the one responsible for filling up your own cups, essentially, right? The Queen of Cups doesn't ask for her cup to be refilled. She just goes and fills it herself. Um, in the Fool card, this is like the sense of like, um, releasing yourself from the constraints of like, what you were thought was, what you thought was expected of you, perhaps, Taurus, or what the rules that you placed on yourself of how you, th or maybe perhaps of how you thought uh, things should go in your life. It's almost just like you're having like this wake up call moment, Taurus, or just being like, wait a minute, I don't actually have to listen to these rules. I don't have to abide by like these set boundaries that other people placed on me. I can just do what feels right to me. And that's how you're going to accomplish your happiness, right? With the sun card coming in here. Uh, very powerful cards to have as your general spread. Taurus, so very already it's like foreshadowing like a, for this week for you if you allow this to right if you allow yourself to uh, entertain the mindset of just thinking about like what's good for me what's good for Taurus rather than thinking about what would be good for everybody else right maybe for some of you Tauruses you constantly were thinking making your decisions based off of like not wanting to inconvenience other people 
or wanting to upset other people, right? Or that feel like you may feel like you would have let people down if you were to have um, did something for yourself, right? Like maybe like you have like a family business that like a family pizza business, but your passion actually doesn't rely uh, fall into pizza, right? But you felt this obligation to uh, work at this pizza parlor for your family because you didn't want to upset them. You're now getting to this point I'm seeing towards where it's just like you're realizing it's just like, uh, wait a minute, like you want your, like, you don't want to deal with pizza anymore. You actually feel like baking cakes, right? And I see you taking active steps towards baking cakes, essentially. And even if you're going to relate to that side message where I was speaking that social situation and nothing will come of that situation to us, I do feel inclined to point out like that very much so could correlate to like your work environment as well. So very interesting starting message there, Taurus. Uh, definitely let me know what you think it's about though. So now Taurus, now we get into a little bit more of the specifics of your reading. We're going to start getting into uh, my Tauruses that are interested in hearing about just their career and finances in specific. And then I'll be doing a spread for my Tauruses that are interested in um, hearing about their social situations. And so then I'll be doing a final spread Taurus with tarot cards to just get any final thoughts before we close off this reading. So let's just go. Ah, starting out with your career situation, my beautiful Taurus, more major arcana coming in for you. And uh, it does definitely, I feel like the career messages are like taking after like your general spread because we have the two of swords coming in with the justice card as well as the strength card. So Taurus, let's break this down, honey. The uh, two of swords is a card of you know, being guarded and kind of like not wanting to make a decision. This is a card of indecision. This is a card. It's almost like with the two of swords towards I want I want you to think about it in a sense of where it's just like you have one option, one path towards that um, is more of like matters of like the the mind, right? The matters of like what seems more the most logical, right? It may seem logical to um stick with that pizza parlor job because it gives you that job security right you don't have to worry about being fired because it's that family business right if i use that as an example but then the other side of things right the other option would be the matters of the heart right and the matters of the heart is essentially what this queen of cups and this fool card came in for you from before towards of where it's just like this is the other decision and i feel like it'd be extremely healing for you Taurus, if you were to make the decision whatever it is regarding to matters of the heart, right? Go with what fulfills you a little bit more because remember we have that sun card as well as that six of fire, which is like both very successful cards. Like I see all the success associated with the matters of the heart um, in that way. So take that with as you will, my beautiful Taurus. <laughs> Um, we have the strength card and the justice card though, because this is going to take like, it's not an easy decision. I know I'm speaking in such simple terms in such a simple matter of fact, matter of fact way where it seems like it's black and white, but I know it's not black and white, right? Taurus, it's, there's a lot more nuance to the situation. Um, the strength card comes in of where it does... <laughs> It's just more so like a, an extremely challenging time. It's going to take a lot of, uh, it does take a certain level of strength to go with what uh, feels right in your heart, right? Sometimes you end up looking like the fool to other people because you go with what's with your heart, right? The fool is the epitome of just following what uh, feels right to the, end of, to the fool rather than worrying about like the rules that other, people's, that other people placed or their opinions. Uh, and then we have the Justice card coming in here. I do feel like this is probably towards speaking on like this sense of what I was feeling at the beginning of this reading, Taurus, of where this sense of just feeling, not feeling satisfied in your situation. So the Justice card comes in where it does imply, right? Again, I'm going to just get the sense of where it's just like something in the matters of the heart would resonate with you more and actually bring a little bit more balance to you, Taurus. So let's pull some clarifiers though before we close out this row for my Tauruses. <clears throat> 
back of the deck is the judgment card, Taurus. So this is all about action. You are being called to action this week, Taurus, to make a decision and uh, addressing this to a sword's moment. So what action are you going to be taking, Taurus? What, what, what side of the sword are you going to be choosing? What path are you going to be choosing for your career? We have the Three of Swords coming in with the Temperance card, as well as the Knave of Wands. So Taurus, this is definitely letting me know of like going into this new decision and following your passions, essentially, it's going to bring forth some pain first, right? I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it to you, Taurus, where it's just like, oh yeah, just nothing but happiness, right? Nothing but abundance, right? It's not realistic, right? It, it, it's not, that's not life. Um, there is like, it does show to me with that three of swords and this name of wands, like this new journey there is pain attached there is just some adjustments you are essentially you're going to be made a little bit uncomfortable towards but if you have patience and you persevere through this time um i really just get this sense towards that you'll be it's like um if you were to take a gamble on this i guess it does seem like you'd be extremely happy with the payout but you still have to be the one to take action on it right uh, I can only tell you what the cards are trying to show to you the results of it, but you, you can't get to those results unless you take action, right? Um, so it's one of those situations where it's like, what's going to take, what is it going to take for us for you to make the decision to go with the matters of the heart rather than the logic, right? And it, it doesn't, you, that doesn't happen overnight, right? It, I would follow you, it's that easy to just follow your passions um, without the fear of dealing with all the drama or the rough transitions but life wouldn't be the way it is if it was just so easy to just like do what feels like just doing what you feel is right right there's just so much complexity to it so now we're going to be getting into social situations now through the tarot cards and the beautiful taurus and we have the empress card coming in with the four of cups as well as the queen of wands <sighs> So Taurus, there's definitely, this is speaking on some type of social situation in your life that it's almost like you kind of wished things turned out a little bit differently with them. It's almost just like you, after like a period of time of like where there wasn't talking, right? Maybe there wasn't fighting, right? I mean, we'll see with the clarifiers later on, but it does show to me where it's just like some, it speaks of a connection that you, um, that didn't, it was almost just like, it was like the right person, but the wrong timing, whether this is romantic relationship, business, whatever. It's like the right person, but the wrong timing. And it's almost like you're now looking at back on some situation where you're just like, oh man, like, I really wish I like engaged with this person more. I wish I tried with this person more. I wish I like put more effort into uh, making it work with this person. So let's see what these, uh, these clarifiers, what else we can get from this. The world card, the emperor coming in as the, and the knight of cups. So I can't help, like, I'm going to have to use those big keywords there, Taurus, where it's like that soulmate energy, right? That counterpart energy, right? And I'm saying it just because of this knight of cups as well as the world card, because this is such a, this is like very much so, um, probably is not going to make sense to anyone, <laughs> but this is very much so in terms of a tarot storyline. Like, um, this is like very much so like something like, and game related it probably again it's not going to make sense but with this two of discs here i just get this sense towards it's like this person um and you probably get this sense as well is like here for the long call but maybe you weren't aware of it at first right maybe you weren't sure about what to do with this person at first but i see you now kind of identifying this person um as like you're like a soulmate and soulmate doesn't have to be romantic right i know a lot of people associate soulmates with something that's romantic but that's not always the case the emperor and the knight of cups this does show to me that's just like there's deep feelings here um there's a deep level of understanding on both sides of the coin but again there is some indecision there is some chaos in this situation here so again it's another situation where it's not that black and white Taurus. right it does let me know that there was a, probably a little bit of history here of where it's just like when things i do i don't feel like you guys are talking right now but i do feel like in this sense here it's honing in on a message of where it's just like when you guys for is like the wrong timing in the sense that life was just too chaotic right and life was because life was too chaotic like someone or somewhat both parties just didn't have time for the other one um almost or maybe there's like a little bit of a 
misunderstanding almost where it's just like maybe there wasn't enough communication at first and so because of that you know it just is like you know those normal like situations when it comes to those friendships right overall though i see you identifying this connection and really wanting to uh do something with it right with the six of cups and i am getting this push towards to especially with this queen of wands for you towards to take action on it right send them that text message right send them that friend request because i think you'd be quite surprised by how um things would pan out right because it's showing to me if you take matters into your own hands Taurus, um and this is like your final uh clarifiers i don't think i ever said that i went into your third realm if you were to take matters into your own hands Taurus, i see you really bringing forth a lot of stability in your life it's almost like in the situation and speaking on like we're not going to say you made the wrong choice with people, but it's almost like it's speaking on like you are realizing you realize like the certain people that are in your current environment just aren't of your of resonance anymore. And now you're able to look back on past connections that you've had that kind of were like acquaintances or just like didn't pay. Um, you know, some distance uh, happened between you guys for a while. You're kind of realizing that now reflecting is like there is some past connection that you had that you would like to make work again because they actually are more resonant of your energy it just seems to click more right it's fun it's almost like one of the situations uh Taurus, where it's just like maybe you were like a professional you had a professional life right and you surrounded yourself with a bunch of other fellow professionals in the same field and now you're almost identifying and being like eh, i don't actually enjoy this this is like i'm in a pool filled with sharks i'd rather just like um go back to this other connection where it's just like they weren't yeah they weren't going to school maybe they only had like a part-time maybe they weren't even working honey maybe they're not even a professional but they actually understand you more they see it they they just get you right and I, you, there's just like this constant push of just like getting rid of what no longer like getting rid of uh dis or separating yourself from people that are just not of your alignment anymore and going back to some type of energy that initially didn't work out but i see it now after some growth has happened and a better understanding of what it is that you want six of cups coming out twice for you taurus um yeah i just see this push of just like rekindling an old flame so that's the cards that i have for you taurus if you enjoyed this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and i'll be connecting with you sometime in the future i hope i love you so much taurus bye